Hey guys, here's an addendum to my last. Uh, Colin uh, up at uh, Comp Edge had a great catch. Uh, he said that uh, we were trapping air in the cylinder and it wasn't going to be able to retract. And I had to change the logic to a bleed type and I actually changed these valves. Um, wow, I don't know that I can focus on that. It's actually upside down. Get my hand out of there, put my hand in there. Let's try to focus on that thing. Okay, the lower character is a picture of a little round circle, like a ball, and then an arrow. So that indicates a ball in a seat, which means that this valve is going to check in this direction. So it's going to slam shut, but it's got an internal bypass above it, and that's a needle valve, and that's adjustable here. So these are different. These have an internal check valve and a, uh, a slight bypass. So we're going to just, just crack these both of these needles and let this air cylinder bleed back. Now what I've done to simulate uh, your condition is I just threw a spring and a washer on here just so I got a little return spring. And uh, we're, going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and charge this just with shop air. And uh, let's see, I got a uh, shop sitting about 120 right now, so that thing's going to be pretty brutal. So uh, we're just going to come into this port, and uh, there's your bleed back, and then now we're going to come into this port, if I can get, get the rubber in the hole, okay, and now we're bleeding back. So with the internal bypass, uh, and it, 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 what it's doing is it's bleeding a very small amount of air out the other side, and that's usually inconsequential to air cylinder and air motor operations. Uh, the small amount of air when this line is charged the cylinder is retracted or extended you know right here I'm, I'm retracting but you can put this in the back port and spring return the same way uh, when this line is charged and we're bleeding a small amount of air here you're sending a small amount of air to your motor cylinder whatever uh, air cylinders and air motors actually don't care about that all they care about is a pressure differential you got one you got more pressure coming in one line than you do the other one that's how they work so uh a, a small amount of bleed through is acceptable as long as the system when it's in a neutral position in other words when you're not pressing a button it's not sitting there leaking air all over the place and the only time this thing bleeds back is when you're pushing the button so this is a perfectly acceptable uh fix uh for that logic all right guys uh but these are the exact uh, needle valve, uh, check valve assemblies, I'm going to send you guys. I'm going to send uh, Ray, Colin, and Herb uh, to each of these. I just got it on some ugly galvanized pipe for now. You guys can figure out something sexy to put it on your air cylinders. Okay, but that's, uh, that's how that logic's going to work. So my original diagrams that I did in my last video, um, I still stand behind those. And... Uh, just with changing these uh, check valves uh, from straight check valves over to uh, uh, check valves, bleed valves combinations, uh, I'm happy with that. So that that uh, fixes our circuit. And Colin, great catch, buddy. All right, uh, that's the end of this. Just a quick down and dirty, and I am uh, going to go upload this right now.